everybody welcome back to my channel so today I decided to do a what's in my makeup travel bag because I know that the holidays are coming up and a lot of people are going out of the state or across the city to go visit family for the weekend and I'm just giving you guys a little tips and tricks and how what I pack as far as when it comes down to my makeup when I travel so if you want to see what's in my travel bag then stay tuned Okay, you guys, let's get started. So first, this is my makeup bag. I got this from Aldo. It's actually a clutch and it came into like a three set thing where it was like two smaller ones. But this was a bigger one and it's really durable. It holds all my stuff and I can wash it also. So this is my makeup bag. So this weekend for Thanksgiving weekend, I am going to Chicago for a vacation, small vacation getaway um, for the weekend. And when I'm thinking about what I'm going to pack, I don't wait till last minute to pack. Um, I do wait last minute to pack my brushes because I have to wash them because I use them throughout the week. But I try to be as efficient and fast as possible when it comes down to my makeup for my makeup bag. And two things that I think about is, are what am I going to do when I'm on my vacation and what kind of looks I'm going for. So I know with being in Chicago, we're just going to be doing a lot of relaxing, a lot of shopping, just sightseeing and things like that. So I know I want to do an everyday uh, makeup look, not too dramatic, not too much. So I prep all my stuff for that look. And then also I know we're going to go to dinner one of those nights also. So I make sure I'm doing more of a nighttime, probably like the smoky eye. Um, so I pack for that too. That helps me not to have a ton of things to bring for a weekend or even a week on a trip because when you're lugging all that makeup, nine times out of ten it can break, it can mess up, you can lose some stuff, you can leave some stuff in the hotel and you really don't want to do that. So those are the two things I look at. So when I'm packing, I kind of try to make sure I'm packing in the order of which I would put my makeup on because it makes me it makes it a lot easier and it also helps me to not forget anything because the worst possible thing is getting somewhere and you forgot something, like seriously. So first thing I do is to prime my face. That's a must. So I put my primer in there and this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And then also I prime my lips. So I use the Max Prep and Prime Lip, I guess it's like a lip balm because um, I use it sometimes without putting lipstick on or you can put it on and then put your lipstick over it and it lasts a long time and primes your lips. So I put that. Okay, so moving on to the face. Um, my L'Oreal Infallible, a must. Put that in my bag. Um, I also use a concealer. This is to highlight. Um, this is the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in the color medium. Throw that in there. Um, two, I do bring two powders. Uh, one of the powders is the L'Oreal True Match Powder to set my foundation. And then I also do bring the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And I use that under the eye, my under eye concealer powder to set that. Next is my eyebrows, and of course, I bring my holy, holy grail, which is the Espresso Powder by MAC. Um, I use this, like I keep always saying, I use this for my eyebrows, and I also use this for my eye makeup, so it's a two-in-one, so this I'm using this for one of my makeup looks also, and then for my eyebrows, so I throw that in. Um, next thing I always use is a bronzer, so I'm bringing two... Technically two bronzers, or you could just say one bronzer bronzer and a blush because it's actually a blush. So one of the bronzers that I bring is the NARS Laguna bronzer. And then I also bring a this is actually a blush by MAC, but I use this to contour. Um, this is Blunt by MAC. I bring this also. This I cannot get away from this. I've tried so many different ones, and this is my go-to. Now, going on to my eyes, 
going like i look at the different i keep saying i look at the looks that i'm going for so when i know i go for an everyday look i really just try to add a little color to my eye crease so that i don't look dull or pale or anything so i always bring two safe colors which is soft brown and saddle by mac i bring both of these with me for my everyday look boom i'm done with it um I'm also bringing my NYX liquid eyeliner. Now, if I'm going for a dramatic, more darker, possible smoky eye look for my dinner date that weekend. So I'm bringing a couple extra colors. I use the colors that I just put in my bag for the, this look as well. But I use a paint pot by MAC. This is just to have like a base for my eyeshadows. And that's in the color groundwork. Um, I have a pigment. This pigment I'm going to use this weekend. It's called Melon by MAC. Okay, so now moving on to blushes. I'm bringing two blushes because I'm doing a daytime and a nighttime look, of course. So I'm bringing this really cute pink color. Yes, I still use pink in the fall. I don't care. But this is Divine Pink by Fashion Bear. I use that and I actually use this on an everyday base use this color on an everyday basis so I throw that in there and then I've also used glamour feast by Mac and I've told you guys several times about this it's a darker mauvier color for a blush um I also like to pack my eyeliner it is tore up from the floor up y'all but I'm not giving up on this rocket killed this eyeliner but this is smolder by Mac I love it also like to bring my concealer palette I, even though I only use one color in there but I like bringing it because anything can happen I can end up getting a breakout before that time or while I'm we're driving there you know and I'll have something to kind of cover up whatever goes on so I always like to bring my concealer with me um highlights are like my I, my dream my dream I love highlights so one of the highlights I'm bringing is NARS Albatross. It probably does give no color payoff on this screen, but it's the bomb. NARS Albatross, and I am also taking Becca, the Jaclyn Hill and Becca collab, the Champagne Pop. Also probably don't give a good payout on screen, on the camera, but these are my two highlighters I'm gonna use. And moving on to lashes. One thing I always forget, like even when I pack my brushes, is I forget to bring my tweezers for my eyelashes. So I throw it in this bag. So my tweezers for my eyelashes. And then the two lashes I'm bringing are, this is Siren by House of Lash Lashes. Sorry, Siren. And these are natural eyelashes. Kind of just give you a nice little flare, a little extra oomph for your eyes. So I bring that. And then I also bring these babies. And this is Icon the Iconics. The Iconics by House of Lashes. I and of course, some lash glue. You cannot go and put lashes on without any lash glue. So, lash glue. Also, I bring uh, just a drugstore mascara. I bring this with me because um, I'm not putting too many coats of mascara on my eyes because I do use uh, lashes. So this is the Clump Crusher by Lash Blast. And last but not least are my lip products. Now I have quite a few lip products because I have not learned the trick to condense my lip products because I have to have several options for my lips. These are my babies. These three right here um, are great for the fall so I'm gonna bring these with me. I can kind of transfer all these to night or day looks. So the first one is the color that I actually have on my lips right now. It's Beeper um, by ColourPop. This is the Ultra Matte Lip. This is Limbo, and it's a little bit darker, but I can do that for a day, night time. And then this is the NYX Liquid Suede, and then this is in the color Cherry Skies. So I'm gonna throw these three in my bag. I have two glosses here. I have Max Snob. And then I have Buxom, and excuse it because Rocket bit it all up. But this is Buxom's White Russian. So, 
everything. Everything is in my makeup bag for my trip to Chicago. So like, I'm ready to go. And I still have tons of room if I need to add a couple of things. Honestly, if I wanted to add my brushes in here, I would, but I don't because it could get a little messy and bendy. I hope that my travel bag video did help you out. And if you did have any questions, please like, subscribe, and comment. And also stay social with me on all my social networks on Twitter and Instagram and Snapchat. And I'll see you guys in a later video. Bye.